Welcome, guys. In this video, we are going to study implicit differentiation. Let's assume that y is a function of x and y can be expressed by the following equation, y is equal to f of x. In this case, we say that this equation here defines y explicitly as a function of x. Since we have y appearing on one side of the equation without any excess at all. And on the other side of on the other side of the equation, we have all x's appearing without any y. So in this case, this equation defines y explicitly as a function of x. However, in some cases, an equation can define y as a function of x implicitly. What do we mean by that? If we take a look at the following equation, we can see that on the left side of this equation, we have both uh, x's and y's appearing here. We still can express y in terms of x. Uh, let's call y as a function of function f, which is a function of x, and y is equal to x minus one or x plus one. Then in this case, equation one defines y implicitly, implicitly as a function of x. In some cases, an equation can define implicitly more than one functions of x. In this case, an equation for a graph of a circle of a unit circle, x squared plus y squared is equal to one, uh, defines two functions of x implicitly. First one is an upper semicircle and second one is a lower semicircle. So if we solve this equation for y, then we get uh, the following uh, two functions, which are functions of x. So x squared plus y squared equal to one. This equation defines implicitly two functions of x. Which brings us to the following definition. We will say that a given equation in x and y defines the function f implicitly if the graph of y is equal f of x coincides with a portion of the graph of the equation. Like in our case here, that semicircle and this lower semicircle coincides um, with a part of the whole circle. All right, now uh, let's assume that we have following equation, which defines y implicitly as a function of x. Uh, solving this in terms of y is impossible. However, if we are required to find derivative dy over dx, it's not necessarily that we have to express y as a function of x. We can apply the following trick to find derivative in this case, derivative of dy dx. So we are going to take derivative from both sides base dx. So on the left side, we have derivative of 5y squared plus sine of y by dx. And on the right side, we have derivative of x squared by dx. So this is 2x. Now using chain rule here, we have 10y multiplied by dy dx plus, this is derivative of that is cosine of y, again, using chain rule, multiplied by dy over dx is equal to x. Now we can express dy over dx as a function of y and x. So this is 2x over 10y plus cosine of y. All right, guys, so what we have learned is that if our equation defines y as a function of x implicitly, then it is not necessarily that we have to find y in terms of x. What we can do, we can um, find dy over dx using implicit differentiation. And the trick that we applied just now is known as implicit differentiation. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We are going to use this trick when solving our next practice sheet.